How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to lose weight without having excessive skin. So you see it all the time on transformation videos on YouTube, on TV, all the time. You see people losing 100 pounds, 200 pounds, up to 300 pounds. And that's amazing. They're losing a ton of weight. But what do you see on every single one of them? Excessive skin, bad skin, ex bad skin hanging over their stomach, over their chest. It looks awful. And then what happens? They try to get the surgery and the surgery does absolutely nothing. Well, it helps out a little bit, but you still see the scar tissue. You see the stretch marks. It looks bad. People want to know, how do you prevent it? And everyone keeps looking. They keep looking. They're like, how do you do this? How do you do this? Like, it's impossible. No matter what, I keep getting this skin damage. I keep getting this loose skin. Believe it or not, the answer is very simple, but no one does this. And again, I see it on all the videos, every single one of them. So what is it? What's the magic secret? Very easy. You lose weight slowly. That is right. Some people are going to say, well, I want to lose all the weight. Now, lose all the weight. Now you're going to get loose skin. It's as simple as that. Now, some people are saying, well, if you lose it slowly at the end of the weight loss, I'm still going to have loose skin. Not correct at all. You look at anyone that has done it in a long period of time. I'm talking about losing 20, I'm talking about losing 30, 40 pounds in a year. That's right, not in a month or two, a year. Losing 50, 60 pounds in two years. That's right, doing it the slow, consistent, the long way of doing it that isn't just completely destroying your body. Now, why is that? Why do you want to lose weight slowly? Um, your skin has elastic, your skin elasticity has two things, and that's elastin and collagen. And they become stressed when you lose weight extremely quickly. So in order to prevent them from being stressed, you do it very slowly and then your skin will not stretch. I know it's crazy, but people do not do this. And I see it all the time. And then people wonder, well, how, how do I do it? You look at anyone that's done it slowly again, a year, two years, losing mediocre weights again, 30, 40 pounds, may not seem a lot to you guys, but to me, that's a lot of weight. That is a lot of weight for anyone, but it, it's nothing compared to these 200 pounds, 300 pounds that people are doing. And how are they doing it? They're doing it with crash diets, water fasting, garbage stuff. And then what happens is they put on the weight again because they don't actually know what they're doing. They're just starving themselves. And then, yeah, again, the weight comes on. It's, it's very bad. You guys, so you don't want to do that. It's complete shit. So how much weight should you lose per week? one to two pounds per week. If you really want to try, you can try three pounds, but I recommend around two pounds. You can try three pounds if you make it better, but don't be losing four or five, six pounds a week. That will lead to your skin being stretched. Now here's the thing, Colhagen and um, Elastin naturally lose their strength over time. So the older you get, your skin's gonna sag. That's why you see older people, 80, 90, 100, they got sagging skin because they're elastin, they're collagen. It's it naturally over time, it stretches you guys. It's, it loses its strength, it's as simple as that. So how can you maintain your elastin for as long as possible? How do you, how do you keep that skin elasticity? How do you keep it? You take care of your skin, as simple as that. So how do you do that? When you're outside, you use sunscreen, and if you're a smoker, stop smoking right now. You look at people in their 70s, their 80s who smoke, it's disgusting. People too who tan, this is awful. If you start tanning right now, if you're a tanner, stop tanning. Over time, and I've seen this with a lot of people, their 50s, they look awful from tanning because you're screwing with your skin elasticity, you guys. Your skin, when you tan or whatever, it changes the pigments of your skin. That's not supposed to happen. Some people like to say, oh, 10, 15 minutes a day is fine for my skin. I'll turn a nice brown. That's not supposed to happen ever. Your skin, if you're white, your skin's supposed to stay white. It's not supposed to be brown from tanning. That is not how it works at all. That will fuck your skin up later down on the road. So make sure you use a ton of sunscreen when you're outside. Take care of your skin. May sound really stupid, but if you guys are worried about your skin, your skin elasticity, it not stretching, take care of your skin. Very important. Another main thing that you guys should do is when you're exercising and strength training, um, you should be lifting. Sorry, when you're exercising, you should be strength training as well because this can tighten your muscles, you guys. What happens is if you just lose weight, 
your muscles are still going to be a little bit soft because you don't have any muscle. If you can get a little bit of muscle on you, then guess what? It's going to be tighter, a lot tighter. Trust me on this. You take any skinny guy and um, he loses a bunch of weight. He'll still look a little bit soft. He'll look a little pudgy. But uh, you get him strength training a little bit. You get him to lose weight. He's going to look ripped, shredded. He's going to be have abs, ripped pecs, stuff like that. Uh, same for a girl. You don't need to add a ton of muscle. Uh, girls are really scared that if you add any, si any signs of muscle, they're going to look like a man. It's completely incorrect. If you don't start taking estrogen, you will be fine. Um, girls naturally cannot put on as much muscle as guys. So start strength training. If you're a guy or a girl, doesn't matter. Strength train. This will help tighten the muscles. And guess what? You're not going to have as bad of excessive skin. And again, if you do it slowly, you won't have any. There have been people that I have looked on YouTube at transformation videos. They've lost 100 pounds, two, three years. No excessive skin. There's people who have lost 100 pounds, two, three months. Guess what? They have to have these fucking surgeries. Why? They're losing it way too quickly. 100 pounds in a couple of months, two, three, four months. That's stupid, you guys. You have any idea how hard that is on your body? It's crazy. And the thing about it is the people that do it in two to three months, guess what happens after that? They put all of it back on because they crash dieted. They didn't do it properly. They have no idea what they're doing. They just starved themselves. The cravings come back. They put on all the weight. So very important that you guys do it slowly. One to two pounds tops. I recommend two pounds um, max. You can try three pounds if that's what you want to do, but I don't recommend it. Um, again, two, three pounds, whatever. It's not as bad as losing 10 pounds a week. Don't do that. So end of video. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Share the video. Like it. Also, if you guys are interested in online personal training from me, there is a link in the description box. It has my email in it. Just click on it and then uh, send me an email. We'll talk about stuff. End of video.